Hello there. Uh, welcome back to Grade Eleven Tourism. Uh, this video we want to look uh, at a match test, and we are going to look uh, at question seven point four of that uh, question papers. So, uh, the question that is inside the car, I read out quotation below and answer the question. So, we are given a quotation uh, that we are given that we need to go through uh, before we start to answer the question. Uh, so, go down, we have put our quotation, then read the quotation that we have put our questions. Question 7.4.1 becomes the first question, and it reads if the rate of the vehicle collects the echo spot at it, it, uh, 0, 0, 0.00 or 0.1 March, at what time should uh, the vehicle be retained on 24 March to avoid incurring additional cost? So, uh, remember, uh, if you go to our quotation, you will see that uh, uh, let's try to uh, see the information uh, that uh, we have. Uh, but if you come here, you will see that uh, this rental is for one to get it forward, it is for three days. It is exactly as stated uh, in the first question that uh, for one March to uh, get forward. But they are saying if it's collected on 0 0.00 0 on 21 March, then on 24 it is being retained uh, to make three full days, at what time should it be retained? Obviously, it has to be retained at the same time, which is 0900 on, on, on the 24, 24th of March. Uh, uh, make the three full days uh, that are indicated uh, in the beginning of the question that uh, is going to be rendered for uh, three days. So basically, uh, EA 7.4.1, we are saying uh, the correct response that we have is going to be uh, our zero, our zero nine uh, zero zero. So we are saying zero nine. 0, 0, uh, on 24. So, uh, on the second part of the question, 7.4.2, 7, 7, it will explain the following car, you know, obviously we have our two maps. So, um, we need to expand CDW, uh, and then uh, try to explain in terms of uh, uh, CDW. Uh, so, uh, CDW stands for Collision Damage Waiver. Collision uh, Damage Waiver. Then maybe we can uh, try to uh, expand it there, whereby we are saying uh, Collision. Collision and uh, damage uh, waiver. And we are saying uh, collision damage waiver is an insurance uh, to cover the render if the vehicle is involved in an accident while the render is driving. So basically, that's the explanation that we have in terms of a collision damage waiver, whereby we are saying it is an insurance uh, to cover the render if the vehicle is involved in an accident while the render is driving. So basically, that's the explanation that we have for the CDW. With that explanation, you'll be able to get your two months so going to the second part we put airport set uh set charge uh airport uh set charge so obviously we need also an explanation on airport set charge uh so airport set charge uh, it, it is a charge uh, that applies to every rented vehicle uh, collected from an airport depot so uh basically and that's what we have uh we are saying uh it is a charge that is that applies to every rented vehicle collected from an airport and depot. So uh, basically, uh, that's the explanation uh, that we have from that part, that is airport uh, setup. Then uh, if you go to C, uh, you'll see that C is, uh, we have P -A -P -A -I, is an abbreviation uh, that we are, um, uh, that we have there, and that is PAI, and obviously, we also uh, need to expand PAI, whereby you say is um, personal accident insurance, uh, personal, I'll give you a title. Uh, personal accidents in Suarez. So, uh, this is uh, what we have been our P, our A, our I, and this is our uh, personal accident uh, in Suarez. Then, uh, hearing that, uh, we go to our explanation in terms of personal accident uh, in Suarez, and we are saying uh, it is an insurance option uh, that covers the render of the vehicle. Uh, in their own, in their capacity, in their personal capacity, and during the period of the rental, uh, for death benefits, uh, medical expenses, and support required in the event of an accident. So basically, that's the explanation in terms of personal uh, accident uh, insurance. Then lastly, we've got the rental contract fee. Uh, rental contract fee, obviously, we need again, uh, in terms of the explanation in terms of uh, uh, rental contract fee. So basically, rental contract fee is an amount added uh, to the rental fee of the vehicle. So it's just it's a top of amount that is uh, uh on top of the rent uh of the rental fee of the vehicle. So the amount covers the administration costs of the rental. So basically that's the essence behind the rental contract fee. We are saying uh, it covers uh, the administration costs of the rental. So basically uh, that's what we have for the rental uh, contract fee. Then we go to the last part of our question. Uh, which is 7.4.3 says a client a client rents the vehicle for three days at an amount of two thousand two hundred ninety. He travels 
he that the job has calculated the total amount he, that he or she will have to pay for his for this render, show all calculations. So we need to show our calculations whereby we are using a distance covered being 800 kilometers. Obviously, in terms of the calculations, uh, we try to go back uh, to uh, we try to go back to the information that are given in, uh, in the quotation and try to refer to that distance to see if it's applicable to the normal uh, distance that are given in the uh, quotation. So uh, the 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 uh, statement uh, reads a client raised the vehicle for the gas in an amount of 2290. So th those three full days uh, represents uh, 2290 months. So obviously, these are three days. So what we want to see is that uh, is 800 kilometers applied to three days, or it's more than then you can be able to see uh, what how to calculate it. So remember, uh, if you come here, uh, you would see that. Uh, let's try to see. Uh, so uh, if you come uh, on the quotation and we have put our 600 kilometers uh, that uh, uh, we have here. The quote includes 600 kilometers. So basically, uh, we are saying that it includes uh, 600 kilometers, uh, 600 kilometers. And uh, we are saying the quote and uh, the quote includes 600 kilometers. Then uh, on additional information, this price for additional kilometer is uh, za 4.48 kilometers. There are any additional kilometers. So if uh, 600 kilometers is normal, it means uh, the excess now is going to be, uh, remember here we put 800, so the excess is going to be uh, 800 minus 600. We get our 200 and then we are told that for this 200 that are more than um that, that are the additional kilometers we have a rate of 4.48 runs so uh here we are saying that to get the total of now we are saying uh 4.48 and then one by 200. the answer that we are going to get there and you add to normal for 600 which is uh 2219 so the other value gets becomes uh, the uh, total uh, uh, that you have to be paid. So uh, if you say 4.48 trans times 200, uh, the figure that you are going to get there is 896. So you are saying 896 and then you add to 2219. Uh, so if you get the true, uh, the total that you are going to get uh, becomes uh, 3150, uh, 3150, 3150. So uh, basically, you say this becomes uh, the total that we are. Uh, calculating on this part. So this becomes the figure that we need on 7.4.3, which is uh, being asked to calculate the total amount that you or she will have to pay for this render. So um, the total amount to be paid for the render is 3,150 grand. So this becomes the last question that we have according to this question. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, let's uh, please let's subscribe and share to our channel. Uh, let's get notified. Uh, more typical examination questions are going to be uploaded on this channel. So uh, let's stay tuned. As for this video, I'm out. Uh, let's meet again in the next video.